Oftentimes, we see firsthand how liberal media news outlets can twist stories into making us Christians look bad. Just one more proof on how we're the most persecuted majority today. I ran across such an article a few days ago and I was aghast. Not only was this article a clear indication of our persecution, it also didn't tell you the whole story. Now before I get into it, let me ask you this relevant question. Where will Satan end up next? Who knows? But I can tell you with 100% certainty where he came from. You people are being so rude to not listen to this speech. Look who's leaving all the black people. During a graduation ceremony outside of Atlanta, Georgia at a private school called TNT, the school that owns the TV station, the co-founder Nancy Gordup accidentally dismissed a group of kids a little too early. So naturally, when the kids started leaving during one of the students' speeches, it angered Gorduk. I can completely understand this as I have quite a huge following myself. I often accidentally dismiss early sometimes and when I realize that more needs to be said, I get extremely angry at my congregation for leaving when I dismiss them. So these kids are leaving and this poor student is still going on with the speech when Satan came calling. Without warning, Satan entered Gorduk's body the only way he knows how, from the back, and then shouted very loudly via Gorduk, You people are being so rude. Then she goes on to say, Oh, look who's leaving, all the black people. And with that, Satan pulled out and left Gorduk there, unsatisfied and embarrassed for what came out of her very Christian mouth. As you can imagine, people didn't take this so well. But that's because they didn't know that Satan was behind behind her. I mean behind this. Satan was behind this. They thought that Nancy Gorduk was a typical racist atheist with no morals whatsoever. In an email apology, Gorduk cleared the air. The devil was in the house and came out from my mouth. I deeply apologize for my racist comment and hope that forgiveness in, in your hearts. Well, I think I speak for Christians only when I say we have your back on this one, Nancy. Not for the racist comments, of course, because it's the year 2015 and my church does not condone racism. We have your back in the sense that we realize that whenever you, as a Christian, make a mistake, it's always Satan's fault. Because Satan is a terrible being that should never be handled on your own. We totally believe you when you stated that it was Satan that said this and not you. That Satan forced you to say these words against your will. Because let's face it, as Christians, we never, ever make mistakes unless Satan Satan is involved. To the parents of the students that attended TNT, it was Satan and this woman took all of him in her mouth so he couldn't get any of your kids. I guess in that respect, she's a brave woman. Next time, it could be you that Satan enters from behind. Bible quote of the day, Deuteronomy 22, 13. If any man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her, that's it. That's your Bible verse. My final thoughts on this video, stop being racist. Stop being homophobic. Stop hating. We are wasting our time with this silly shit. The sooner we start to love one another, the sooner we can start moving forward. Where are you, you little coward? Especially that goober that was coming through with his little thing. And thanks for watching.